Good day buddies. On some of the past episodes, you've seen founding colonies using a setup like this. This is very useful for easier feeding, and cleaning. So in today's video, we'll be making our own version of this mini outworlds, using scrap materials, and ready-made tiny containers as well. This is a preparation for the upcoming new colonies, from the queens we caught few months ago. And for the most recent super thanks, from Mototeki and Algor. I hope we got the right pronunciation, thank you buddies for going above and beyond. I'm eternally grateful for the love received by the channel. Thank you. Anyway, welcome back buddies. And for those new to the channel, you're all welcome to D Colony. Let's start by using the scrap materials. Anyway those mini outworlds are so cheap buddies, I got each of them with less than 2 bucks. But if we have this much of scrap acrylics, we can save some money by making our own. Let's cut it to our desired size, using a laminate cutter. Some of the cuts are not so good, so I'm going to sand it to flatten the edges. We can also do it manually using sandpaper. And we got this much from the scraps. We made three different sizes, for three different sides. I'll show the sizes later before we assemble the outworld. We'll need two sheets with varying holes for the cover. And one side with two holes for the test tube setups. On the bigger hole, we'll be installing a rubber grommet for a better fit of test tube. But if you don't have this, that's fine. I'll show you later how to fix a test tube, without the rubber thingy. Anyway, I decided to make two holes, so the outworld will also be useful in transferring ant colonies, from test tube to test tube, in case needed.
Before proceeding with the mini acrylic containers build, let's try to introduce a colony on this one first. Which I know that most of you wanna see if this really works. We have some space here for the ant barrier, but since the barrier area is limited, it will only be effective for small ant species. But no worries, since this is only for starting colonies, which sometimes doesn't require a barrier. Where cotton, plug will be enough, for the time being. I believe this Crematogast are the same species, with my one year old colony living in the Acrobat Tower. I'm just keeping this second colony for experimental purposes. Anyway, let's move to the ready-made acrylic containers. We use a container like this on a recent short video for the mini arboreal setup build. This time, we're gonna use this acrylic cubes. The job here is much simpler than the first one with the scrap build. What we need to do here is pretty much drilling for the cover and the test tubes. And done. Now, I'm gonna show you how I attach test tubes, on just a drilled hole without grommets. We just need some silicone tubes, whose size is tightly fitted to the holes. We also need some rubber rings, if the silicone tube doesn't fit in the test tube nicely. This will make it fit, tight, and secured. And as simple as that, it's done. We can also make a flooring using grout, or plaster buddies. Like what we did on a recent short video. And for the ant species that requires a humid foraging area, we can do it like this. We will just fill the free space here, with sand. Then hydrate the sand part to raise the humidity in the outworld. And our mini outworlds, or feeding area for the upcoming colonies is now complete. We will be, updating you very soon, on every queens that we caught in the past months. I just hope you have learned something from this video guys. Be a genie for the first time by granting my wish and tapping the like and share button, that would help a lot. This is D Colony, saying goodbye, for now, but hoping to see you on my next videos.